My name is Aurelia Apre. I am Phoebe Mahoney. My name is Linda Santi. My name is Cassandra Dumakobati. I am Akofa Ampofo. My name is Ophelia Irajwaboni. I'm Esther Samoa. I'm, 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 I'm currently the Customer Support and Inside Sales Manager for Cleanet. Okay, I'm a Senior Associate responsible for Vendor Management and Supply Chain Operations in the company. So I've had an exciting career at Clean Earth Scientific. So I have a background in biochemistry and after biochemistry, national service, and then I landed a job at Clean Earth Scientific. Um, initially, I was into customer support and inside sales. Then I transitioned into an associate for project management and later into business operations. And I'm currently at supply chain management. I would say that women are seen not to be capable to handle, of handling certain tasks. And in my previous role, I had the task to prove to certain clients that I was capable, I was equally capable and I could deliver. You have to be yourself. The challenges are um, combining your motherly duties to your personal work in the business um, world or in the business field. I think the challenges we face as women is that society expects us not to be um, very good, especially in, in tech fields and STEM fields. And so we are underestimated and we have to prove ourselves and work harder than maybe a man would. And into the, this 21st century where men and women have the same roles basically then it's difficult for societies like ours to fully transition beyond that stage where we think that the basic responsibility for providing food and shelter is the man. So that's why I think it starts from. Okay, I believe generally women are more organized and then um, we have a strong intuition. I think women have good social and good um, organizational skills that make them leaders. I'd say women have uh, good problem solving skills and uh, we are also able to handle different tasks simultaneously and uh, effortlessly. Be very good at multitasking, organizational skills, emotional intelligence, patience and then adaptability. We bring out the best when we are doing something based. So I've been given the opportunity to work one and then the people I'm working with also help a lot. They teach you the things you're supposed to do, help you out when you are finding things difficult and all that. So yeah. Cleanet offers women the platform, the level to excel, exhibit their skills, bring their ideas on board, bring their knowledge on board, everything concerning decision making and how to make the company better. Um, it's empowering to even see that most of my colleagues are women. That's empowering. My name is Echo Archer. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Clean Earth Scientific. I am personally um, of the belief that women should always have a safe space to thrive in the workplace or creating a safe space for women in the workplace. What we do as a, as a matter of course and a matter of being here at Clean Earth is to provide the canvas for women to paint their own picture of how they want to thrive in the workplace. We do so by allocating sufficient resources towards uh, professional development, which includes learning new skills, improving upon whatever they have, and also as much as possible, giving them the chance to advance into multiple roles without any kind of discrimination, without any kind of challenges, uh, and, 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 you know, and thrive in, in, the, in the company. No, I don't. 
so it's what's in my head and what I can bring to the table. So whether I'm a female or a male, it doesn't matter. Um, no. No. I, I, I think that once I'm able to prove that I'm bringing value to, to the table, it shouldn't stop me from advancing in my career. I think society sees my gender as an obstacle to advancement and so in turn it is an obstacle to my advancement um, but I, I think that as time goes on we are all able to recognize that whether you're a woman or a man as long as you have the right skills you can advance you can do well in any field. When I started with Cleanet, yeah I would say it conflicted a bit like there was a bit of um, restraints on how much time you have for your personal life, your social life. It has and it's a big challenge. It's a big challenge because I believe when you train yourself as a woman, um, it shouldn't have effect in your career, in a business world or in a business field. It's all about training yourself. When you are at home, you should be at home. When you are at work, you should be at work. At a point in time, I was saying yes because um, I was finding it difficult to juggle between personal life and then um, my work life. But at a point in time, I was able to set a boundary between my work life and my personal life. Since then, I haven't had any conflicts between my work life and my personal life. Well, I think that you should have a plan. Um, be committed to the plan and set boundaries. My close friend mostly my family and close friends my aunt is my mentor um she showed me from a very early age that as a woman you can as long as you're hard working that you can rise in your career and you can grow into the opportunities that we usually see men fill that role my aspiration is to provide everyone the right opportunity to thrive here in this company particularly women with STEM education and I'll be super happy that many years when I have left as a chief executive officer a woman will be occupying the spot. I would say Akofa there's nothing you can't do just plan and make sure you work hard at it. I will tell my younger self to explore um, to go and learn about anything that interests them without limitations. Breathe things would definitely fall into place because like I used to worry a lot but as time goes on like things do fall in place so just take your time and go through day by day. Don't put yourself in any kind of explore, do what you can do, have a goal and then don't be, don't limit yourself to what you think you should do because sometimes you can be better at something else that you never dreamed of. Be bold to stand firm, to, to stick to whatever she wants to do and be bold uh, in the business world. Apart from the business, in any aspect of life, whatever she wants to do in life. Strive harder, strive harder, and be open to open yourself up to more opportunities. <laughs> so I would say that you should, I should explore more. Um, capable of doing everything that I set my mind to and yeah basically that <laughs>